Well, Charlemagne the God kind of shames academics on his live, and academics slightly responds in his own way. Well, this is Jordan Tower with JT News. Hit that bell, hit that subscribe button, and if you want to run ads on the channel, it's Jordan Tower Media at gmail.com. Well, Charlemagne took to Instagram today and he kind of called out academics for getting emotional on his IG stream and you know calling out Deezus and Amaro again because you know Deezus and Amaro I might be saying your name wrong and I apologize but I, I do like their show on Vice I think they're funny they call people out they're media and academics is media too and academics is new to like mainstream type media so I can understand where he kind of might have gotten offended this he's going through an emotional time his show's kind of in a transition right now. I can't say it's falling apart yet because it hasn't fallen apart, but Joe's kind of left and it's changing and it's uncertain because it was a good show. So uh, Charlemagne's saying, he made a good point that, hey, if you're going to dish it out, you got to be able to get criticized. If you're going to criticize others, you got to get like people criticize me all the time, whether I was doing music videos then or when I was doing the, the DVDs or what I'm doing now, you know? Uh, you know, they criticize you, but I, I criticize people too. So, you know, I just let it happen because, you know what, I do the same thing. I'd, I'd be a hypocrite. You can't be a hypocrite. And I, I think I think academics is just going through an emotional time. But, you know, I don't know why Charlemagne called him out on IG Live. I'm going to play that right now. Tell me what you guys think because I think that he shouldn't have gone to IG Live because they do have a personal relationship. That should have been more of a phone call and not a press move. But, uh, Hey, you know, I like all the guys. I like Charlemagne. I like Deezus, and I like Agamemnon. I like them all, man. So, uh, anyways, check it out. Let me know what you guys think. How, you know, you're only in that white hot space once, and he's like, yo, he plays forever. All you motherfuckers should be trying to play forever. Y'all, y'all, y'all be caught up on this trendy shit. You know what I mean? Y'all be caught up in the hype for the moment of something. You know what I mean? And y'all start anointing shit, uh, oh, it's the best shit ever, and blah, 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 meanwhile, motherfuckers have been out here consistent, you know, for a long time, consistently entertaining for years, consistently, you know, giving you that new energy, that energy you want, you, we, we, we tend not to respect that, so, yes, I'm thankful for every year that I've had in the radio game, it'll be 20 years next year, I started off as an intern in 1998, at Z93 Jams in Charleston. If you want to know the journey, go pick up Black Privilege. Opportunity comes to those who create it. It's just, that's just a little New York Times bestselling book I dropped this year. You know, it was on it was on the New York Times bestsellers list for seven weeks in a row. You know, it's out there right now. It's done really well, thanks to y'all. I really appreciate it. But yeah, man, respect consistency, man. Respect longevity. You know, respect people in the, in, in the culture that have that have been doing it and constantly continue to do things to move the culture forward. All right, but. I really just wanted to hop on to tell y'all, man, you know, you can't be a media personality who critiques the culture and then literally be in your feelings because somebody critiques you. Please tell academics to knock it the fuck off. I love that. I love that. I love academics. Love these and Merrill, those are my guys. You know, I, I like I like everything that everybody's doing. But nah, man, that's not the way none of this works. Right. Word up. Chills 9. Yeah, that's right, man. All right, rest in peace, my man, Combat Jack. Salute to the good brother, Combat Jack. We lost Combat Jack this week due to cancer. A couple weeks ago, I went to go see Combat Jack. I pulled up to his crib in Brooklyn. Um, He uh, he was in good spirits. You know, he was in good spirits. You know, he had lost like 50 pounds because he had got the, the tumor removed from his stomach. But he was in good spirits. He was ready to fight. That brother was not planning to die at all. Death was not in his plan. The only thing he even remotely mentioned about death was when he said the doctor told him that, you know, with the right treatment, he had, he, may, he might he might have like five years. And he was like, yo, you know what I can get done in five years? You know? So, you know, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't get to see those five years, man. But, you know, I'm glad that I got to go see that brother and, and, and tell him I love him and tell him, you know, he, he knew I respected him from a, from a media standpoint. This ain't the first time I've, I've worn this combat jack hat you know i'm not that type of person i like to celebrate people when they're alive you know i never i never get into that whole you see see y'all this era is weird because i tell y'all all the time if you celebrate something you dick riding but if you don't like something you hating like there's no middle ground like i don't give a fuck i like to celebrate my people while they're here and you know i've, I've, I've worn this combat jack hat a couple times in in various interviews matter of fact in a 50 cent interview in the, in the 
and the Troy Ave interview, by the way. But you know, I, I you know, of course, I threw this on today because my brother, my brother's no longer here, man. But but rest in peace, Combat Jack. Really good dude, man. There'd be no loudspeaker network without Combat Jack. So there'd be no brilliant idiots without Combat Jack. So I don't got nothing but love and respect for that brother, man. But he was not planning to die. I'm telling you, that brother was was getting ready to fight. If I'm if I'm not mistaken, when I went to see him, he was supposed to start chemo the next week because he wasn't even in the hospital yet. So he had just got out of the hospital from surgery. So so rest in peace to uh, Combat Jack, man. That's my guy. But yeah, man, I hope y'all enjoying the holidays. God bless y'all. I wanted to talk to y'all about something just now, and it slipped my mind. Just that motherfucking... Fa oh, yeah, salute to the good brother, Joe Budden. First, yeah, somebody just said, uh, uh, now Joe Budden, my favorite person. What What's up with y'all, man? Why y'all Why y'all think that, like, this shit just happened? I've been knowing Joe Budden since 2000. Four. Joe used to come to my my apartment in Columbia, South Carolina, and play fucking spades. Like, and we've always had the same relationship. In fact, I got, I can, I can play. I got the first interview that me and Joe Budden ever did together. My man Chuck T got it too, cause I put out a best of uh, Charlemagne the God's Concrete Jungle way back in the day, like 10, 12 years ago, and that interview was on there. And me and Joe been the same way since day one we really like professor x and magneto like like it's all it's never changed like we debate each other and we we critique each other and we you know talk shit about each other but at the end of the day it's, it's it is what it is it's love i respect his opinion he respects mine and ain't neither one of us getting on twitch crying about you know uh one of one of us hurting each other's feelings okay so like knock it off, and yeah, we doing a um, we doing a year in wrap up special. Me and Joe, we shot that a couple weeks ago. We've been uh, maybe like we shot it a while. We shot it like maybe a week ago. Yeah, like a week ago, we shot that year in wrap up special. It's called this year was was dope. This year was trash. Well, I thought the year was dope. Joe thought it was trash, so we just kind of like compromised on the title. But salute to Diddy. You know what I'm saying? Did he let us executive produce that for Revolt? And um, I think I think it's coming out. It's coming out next week. It's gonna be on. It's gonna be on Revolt, but it's gonna be online as well. You know, and you know we're just critiquing the year. You know, we're critiquing 2017. That's all. Me and Joe Budden. I, I couldn't think of a better person to do it with. And y'all acting like we didn't do this last year. Y'all, this, this is what I be talking about when I be saying y'all be having like short term memories. Y'all, y'all very. It's like we did this last year. Last year, remember we did the hottest MCs for MTV too. Uh, um, and it was me, and it was Joe Budden, and it was Letty, and it was Sycamore, and it was Karen Civil, and it was um, uh, B Dot. Um, who else was on there? Ah, uh, forgive me, I can't remember right now. But yeah, shit, I'm talking about y'all can't remember. I can't remember.